The, the Bible says in 1 John 5, 7, God was manifest in the flesh. God became a man. His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 1, 14, the Word became flesh and lived among us. God came down from heaven and became a man named Jesus Christ. And you know why he came? It says, he says in Mark 10, 45, he came to give his life as a ransom for many. What is a ransom? A payment made to set you free. Jesus Christ came down here and became a man and suffered, died on a cross and paid for your sins. Young man, your sins are paid for. Your sins are all paid for and yours too and mine. Yeah, they're all paid for. They, 2,000 years ago, all your sins and his and mine, all our sins were charged against Jesus Christ. All your sins were charged against Jesus Christ when he was on the cross. Now, Jesus Christ is offering you his righteousness right now. He will credit you with his righteousness simply by trusting him. Will you trust him? He's just simply saying, I'm God and I'm your sa I'm the Savior. Will you trust him? If you trust him, you're going to heaven. That's, that's, is that kind of black, black mail, by the way? No, it's a gift. It says, it says right here, the gift of God. Me, you know, What's a gift? What is a gift, young man? What is a gift? It's a present. Is, 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 is there a cost for a gift? Sometimes, sometimes not. If I offer you a gift, do you have to pay for it? No, I can't no you simply need to receive it, right? I paid for the gift. Yeah. Well, Jesus Christ paid for the gift of eternal life. He paid for it on the cross with his blood and his death. He bought eternal life, and he's offering it to you as a gift right now. If you don't want it, then reject it. Some people here want to receive the gift. That's right if you don't want it, you can reject it. I hope something can change your mind. Potentially, I will. I'm, I'm a Catholic, my bad. Okay, now. I'm not here to talk about religions. I'm here to talk about the Savior. I'm not, there's not a religion in the world that can save us. Only the Savior can save us, and His name is Jesus Christ. And I'm glad you, you, you took the time to talk, because now you know. You know the gospel. You know it, and what will you do with it? I hope someday you trust Jesus and also go in heaven. To be, to be honest, I'm, I'm very young and immature. I'm not really, not really well, hopefully, as I'm, I'm quite open to it. I'm not really open to it. However, I'm not saying that in later life I won't, because in later life I feel like the church is probably where I'm bound to go. So. Yes. I, well, I hope you do before the last beat of your heart, because if you if you don't have Jesus as your Savior and then you die, you die without Jesus, you'll end, you won't go to heaven. You can't get into heaven. Well, that's the way it is. I mean, you, you don't get to make the rules. Jesus said you have to have him as your Savior to get into heaven. And you can receive him as your Savior right now. All you got to do is trust him. Can you trust him? Can you put your faith in him? Can you say, listen, if God asks you right now, why should I let you into heaven? If you say, well, because I joined a religion, or I went to church, or I did that. You're trying to get in heaven some other way, you can't get in. But if you say, God let me into heaven because Jesus is my Savior then you're going to heaven. That's all God requires. Faith in the Savior. Fair enough. That's why I'll have to decide. I know. Thank you I hope you time. do. No, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. Anyway, I should leave you alone now so you can... Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure everybody heard our conversation. Everybody benefited from it. <laughs> I'm sure everybody thinks that I'm an absolute dick. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, you're a gentleman. You're, 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 you're a gentleman. Look at my Bible and read it. I should do it. I should do, really. Well, I, I recommend you get water baptized, but you don't have to be baptized for salvation. Hey, no, no, you don't stuff, have to buddy. be baptized for salvation. Hey. Hey. No, this is what it says here. It says, let, let me ask you this. You don't have to be baptized. Acts 16, 30, it says, what must I do to be saved? The jailer asked Paul. What must I do to be saved? What did Paul say? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That was, that was at, no, this was after what you're talking about. This came after what you're talking about. What happens if you have a baby and the baby dies? Does that mean she's going to hell? That's up to God. But when you're up to the edge of accountability, you have to be baptized. If God's going to be in heaven, why is That's up to God. But once you're up to the edge of accountability, Okay, tell me, young lady, tell me what this verse means. Titus, Titus 3.5, it says, not by works of... That's after, that's after the, the 
Is this after? Is this after? Where are we now? Are we are we before or after? Where are you right now? I'm talking about people have to do today. Today, what do you have to do to be saved? I, I, I hope you trust Jesus and not your I baptism. Do. If you're trusting your baptism, you'll end up in hell. If you're trusting you're Jesus, trusting you're end up, you'll go to heaven. Because it says, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. It says, it says, to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. What does that mean? It means that you are not required to do any religious work at all to be saved. It means that Jesus Christ did all the work on your behalf. It means that you must put your faith in the work that Jesus Christ did for you. He lived a sinless, perfect life because you couldn't do it. He suffered and died on the cross so we wouldn't have to pay for the sin. And then he rose from the dead. He proved he has power over life and death. And right now, Jesus Christ is offering you life. Jesus Christ is offering you eternal life right now. Do you want to receive it? If you want to receive the gift of eternal life in heaven, you simply put your faith in the Son of God. I love what you say, Well, I'm glad to hear that then. If you trust, if you trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're going to heaven. Then you're going to heaven. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. If someone believes in their heart, the Son of God is their Savior, then you're going to heaven. People try to complicate it by adding religious works, by adding water baptism, by adding repenting of their sins. They, the list goes on and on. They keep on adding requirements. But Jesus, Jesus told the Jews, when they asked him, what work do we have to do? Jesus said, the work of God is this to believe in the one he has sent. The religious Jews tried to work their way to heaven, and they asked him, what work does God require of us? And he said, this is the work God requires. Believe on the one he sent. The one thing God requires of us is faith in Jesus Christ as our Savior. That's the one thing God requires. And do not insult Jesus Christ by adding any other requirements, because the Bible says you nullify the grace of God. You cancel it. You trust it if you add any other requirements. To believe Jesus is your Savior means you're trusting Him completely. You're not trusting religious work. All right, brother, I'll let you take that from here. Yes, we can. You know, like